CoreLogic's Perth Home Value Index increased 0.6% during January, the highest monthly increase since May 2021. Now, REWA President Damien Collins said this was a strong start to the year, especially given activity is typically lower in January following the festive season. Now, let's get into all the details with this month's Perth market update. So Mr Collins said demand has been strong in the first month of the year. This continues, the Perth market is on track to achieve 10% price growth that REWA forecasts for 2022. Now, REWA.com data shows the Perth's median house sale price was $521,000 in January, and the suburbs to record the biggest median house sale price growth during January were Erskine up 4.4%, $450,000, Padbury up 2.4%, $615,000, Kalamunda up 2.1%, $725,000, Harrisdale up 2%, $549,000, and Wembley up 1.7%, $1.3 million. Now, other suburbs to perform well were Kinross, Falcon, Falcon, I should say, Spearwood, Canningvale, and Lansdale. And there were 8,245 properties for sale on Rewa.com at the end of January, which is 3% more than December 2021. Mr. Collins said, we've seen a slight increase in the number of properties for sale in Perth during January as sellers who deferred their listings over the break come back to market ready to take advantage of Perth's strong buyer appetite. Now the median time to sell a house during January was 15 days, which is one day slower than December and six days faster than January 2021. And Mr. Collins said, median selling times are still exceptionally low and have been for some time now. We'd normally expect this figure to be up around 30 to 40 days. So the fact it continues to hover around the two week mark is a testament to how tight competition for properties is in Perth. Now, Rewa.com data shows the fastest selling suburbs in January were Harrisdale and Tapping, both at seven days, Leeming at eight days, and Coolangup and Craigie at nine days. Now, other suburbs to record fast median selling times were Hillary's, Kinross, Padbury, Warnborough, and Greenfields. Now, Perth's median rent price was 450 bucks per week during January, which is a stable compared to December 2021. Mr. Collins said, even though rents have increased over the last 12 months, we are not seeing unsustainable growth rates month on month. Now, Western Australia is still the most affordable place to rent in the country, and the suburbs to record the biggest increases in median rent during January were Dinella, up $20 to 450 bucks a week, Yanchep up $18 to $438 a week, Ellenbrook up $10 to $410 to week, Byford up $10 to $440 a week, and Success up $10 to $480 per week. Now other suburbs to record strong increases were Cloverdale, Armidale, Thornley, Nedlands, and Wellard. Now it took a median of 16 days to lease a rental during January, which was the same as December and two days faster than January 2021. And the suburbs that recorded the fastest median leasing times during January were Wellard and Williton, 12 days, Netherlands, Warmbra, and Yanchep at 13 days. Other suburbs who experienced fast median leasing times were Alkamos, Byford, Subiaco, Success, and Scarborough. Now, there were 2,345 properties for rent on Rewa.com at the end of January, which is a 25% increase on December. And Mr. Collins said, we saw rental in listings in uh, reduce, sorry, I should say, significantly at the end of December, which is not unusual for that time of year. Pleasingly, this reduction was temporary and listings for rent are now 9% higher than they were three months ago. We are still a long way off rectifying the rental shortage though. We need WA's borders to open to increase investment in the state and attract people with trade skills here to help complete construction and free up rental stock. Well guys, that is it from me today. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week and remember guys, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.